I want to talk a bit about YouTube and my experience of YouTube. Now, I'm well aware that uh, you know all videos that are uploaded um, on this on this website, you know, are reviewed by somebody. So, if anyone from YouTube is watching this, I don't believe I'm violating any community guidelines. I don't think I'm breaking any of your rules. I intend this to be um, candid and constructive feedback. And yes, some of it is expressing frustrations, but I think you need to know. And uh, now for my target audience, my subscribers, um, I just want to share basically my thoughts at this stage and how I, I intend to approach going forward. So um, with SR, I've been trying to do, to a short survey. It kept coming up on my channel. Um, we invite, this is not verbatim, but we invite creators to take part in our short survey short survey now to my mind uh short is roughly five to ten minutes and certainly no longer than 15 minutes roughly speaking uh so i knew the way this was going it was taking a lot longer um and i just got frustrated so i opted for the um creator support tool uh to speak to someone to basically try and get some feedback on how long this would take that person introduced himself as Maui. I don't know if that's a man or a woman. But anyway, um, I guess it said, look, roughly how long will this survey take? Because I don't want to discard my answers, but, you know, it's taken forever. Um, anyway, we had a lengthy discussion about my numerous contentions with YouTube, and I'll come to that in a second, but I gave up on the survey. Now, to me, this is either badly designed or willfully misleading. Um, if you say short survey, it's utterly inconsiderate and misleading to then, then it's a long survey because people like myself then will be led to believe that you're just dishonest. That it's, it's one of my pet peeves, people giving false statements like that, or in this case, not people, but the algorithm or whatever it is. Um, I'd compare it to, you know, going into a shop and an item not being priced. It's just misleading. You know, basic information, I'm not talking about being bombarded with information, but basic information is a reasonable thing to expect. So, you know, you want people to do these surveys. Okay, let them know how long it'll take. Because it's so frustrating to start something, give the answers, and then it's just taking forever. Well, it's not a short survey. I'm still doing that half an hour later. Anyway, that's just an example of the sort of power dynamic that I think is involved in this. Um, so let's have a little review, you know, to look at what I've created. I've had over 3,000 videos. So I think it's, I'm not sure what the exact number is, but it's over 3,000 in roughly 10 years. I think my first uploaded video to this channel was 2012 on this channel. So just over 10 years. Um, although I think I had another channel that I discarded, but let's say this main channel over 10 years, I've got close to 2000 subscribers. Um, and when it gets to that 2000 point, it might be getting very close to that now. I haven't looked, but it might be getting very close to that. That would be a good opportunity for me to review how I want to go forward. Now, as it stands, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep uploading videos and talking about things that I care about. And I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me. I want to thank all of you for the time that you put in to watching my videos because I I know that my videos are not the flashiest out there. They're not the most concise out there. You know, they're not little two-minute snap videos. And I, I, I'm realistic. I know that people often will stop watching after a few minutes. So I know that people will not be watching the full 15, 20 minutes plus that I often upload videos to. And that's okay. I have it there for the record, just so, you know, it's, that's what I said. That was my position on that subject. Um, as a creator, I, I've i kind of got mixed feelings because on one hand, it, it's nice. I'm able to upload these opinions and people, anyone in the world can watch this. And they can, you know, even though I'm not a big channel, um, I've had, you know, subscribers from all over the place, from the UK, Ireland. Canada, Turkey, Brazil, India, 
um, the United States, Australia. Um, you know, so I've had an international viewership. And even though my channel is by no means a big channel, um, it is growing gradually. And who knows, maybe one day it will be much bigger. But I often look at channels that are viral, you know, they get millions of views. And I think, um, what what have they done to enable that? Now, monetization is obviously part of it. I know there's Patreon options. I haven't introduced that yet for the same reason that I kind of left monetization. I won't rule it out in the future. Um, but for now, I'm not going to take that approach because I want people to be able to watch my content free and to not, well, it would be free anyway. That's an optional thing. But um, I, I basically feel in order to ask people for Patreon support, I need to get a level where you know I can kind of show my worth. And uh, I don't know, I, I've resisted that option for now. Um, you know, because there'd be more pressure on me to upload great content and I feel that in order to ask for Patreon support I'd need to be showing some graphics or some extra material which I just I'm not at the moment. Recent weeks have been quite busy, very busy in fact because of my um, situation here. My parents have moved back, there's been a lot of moving going on. I don't want to go into too many personal things but it's just been very busy. A lot's been happening. That's why I've made slightly less videos than usual. And I usually upload a video a day, at least. It's been less than that. What I may do in the future is have your videos that are either longer or more comprehensive or more shorter videos or continue what I'm doing, which is this sort of rate of in-between videos. I intend this to be no more than 15 minutes. Um... But basically, I stopped monetizing a few years ago. I'd been, I'd only done it for about a year because basically I found that, and I told this, um, you know, creator support advisor this. I was giving this person feedback. I said, look, what they do is they push you into a corner. So my content is current affairs, geopolitics, mostly social issues. That's what I mostly talk about. But I never show graphic content, so I never show gory videos. I have very, very little profanity, uh, if any. Um, I never show copyrighted material. If I'm reading an article from a newspaper, I'll always quote the journalist or the publication involved. So I'm careful with that stuff. Uh, and I'm just a guy talking about what he believed in. That's it, really, fundamentally. Now, obviously, almost 2,000 people have some, found some appeal in my channel, so thank you. Really, thank you, all of you. Even if you don't agree with me, even if we've had arguments, it still adds up. So um, I have to say, overall, my interaction with subscribers, I, I have felt, has been positive. You know, I, I have no big issues with that because some of you are regular, um, you know, you comment regularly. I've engaged with you personally numerous times. I'm not going to do a name check here because I don't want to leave anyone out. But uh, you know who, who you are and just thank you for that. Um, in the future, I'd like to have more engagement. I plan to do more live streams. Um, as it stands, I have a live... Uh, actually, it's called a stream laptop. HP stream. It's quite a basic laptop. I like this little laptop. It's light. It's compact. Notwithstanding some screen issues I've had lately, it's I like it. Um, so I'll continue using it. An Indonesian friend of mine, and I've mentioned this before, she mentioned some tools that can be used to uh, jazz up videos a bit, and I really would like to get around to doing that at some point, seeing what I can do. Now, I don't know how many channels grow substantially without being monetized. I don't know if there's any channels out there that have like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of subscribers without being monetized. Maybe it's impossible. The only way I'm going to go back to monetizing is if I feel that I'm not pushed into a corner. As an example, you know, they would say, does your video contain hateful content? Well, of course it doesn't. And if it did, I'm hardly going to say so, right? So I'll, I'll look at the options available, but they really contradict themselves on these guidelines because they'll say, for example, does your video contain hateful content? And then you look at the subcategories, my video does not contain hateful content, but includes um, 
includes information, includes content, content that is liable to be controversial or something like that, i.e. Uh, you discuss marginalised groups. But you know, that is a very vague definition. In other words, let's say you're talking about, who knows, um, COVID conspiracy theories, Black Lives Matter, you name it. All of those issues are controversial. By nature, by definition, current affairs can be controversial. So there's nothing, basically, that I will talk about that isn't going to be controversial to someone. But it's this ridiculous categorization, like hateful content. Oh, it's not really hateful. Well, which is it? So either they can't decide themselves what is hateful, or they're just pushing creators into a corner, basically forcing creators to label, to designate their own content as something that's not. It's immensely frustrating. Now, I understand advertisers don't want to be associated with a very partisan video, or especially not a video that has graphic content. I get that. I do understand that. But I just think that they make the process very difficult, um, the way they define that. Uh, and I feel like, you know, if I was uploading, like, I don't know, if I was singing or if I was uploading non-political content, would my channel grow a lot more? I don't know. Um, someone close to me with good intentions suggested I do some sort of stand-up thing and they said, oh, mate, you know, look at this, this guy does his five-minute videos, he, it's funny, and, you know, why don't you do that? Well, you can only talk about what you care about. I'm not going to be false and pretend to be a comedian and make some, oh, I'm just going to stand up for five minutes. That's not me. I'm not interested in it, and I'm not very good at it. So why would I do that? Um, you know, what I'm all about is just discussing what I feel are important issues. So recently it's been the coronation, um, Republican issues around that, and um, constitutional issues. And, you know, some people find that boring, fine. But people who watch my videos obviously find it interesting, and they're the people I care about. And whilst I don't do requests, I think I have a, a broad, rough understanding of what my subscribers are interested in, um, because otherwise they wouldn't watch my videos. Um, and, you know, some of you have made very complimentary and supportive comments over the years, and I really do appreciate that. I've had one or two trolls. I mean... By trolls, I'm not talking about people who disagree with me, because I think that term is thrown around a lot. I'm talking about people who, you know, especially in some of the more personal videos about online dating, they've tried to categorise me as something that I'm not. And But, you know, they're not important enough to really discuss in, de in detail here. Um, so going forward, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, at the moment, it's relatively stress-free. The videos are easy to upload. Um, so I'm I'm quite happy with that. Um, people have often said, you know, Nathan, we like your content. It's a pity your channel didn't grow more. Well, I, I feel the same way. I'd love it to grow. But I just feel that the only way it can is to be monetized. And unfortunately, if I opt to be monetized, it's very much about self-censorship. And it's just, I feel it shackles creators. I really do. That's my previous experience, and um, I've seen nothing in that time. I think I demonetized over a year ago. I've seen nothing in that time to convince me that it would be more flexible or less bureaucratic. Um, so I have very mixed feelings about this. I'm grateful for the platform, you know, so I don't want to be too cynical here. YouTube is giving me, me this platform free. I don't have to pay for it. It's, you know, so I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, it's creators, it's thousands, millions of small creators like myself who, you know, are a very important part of YouTube. So I think they should listen to us more, like really listen, not just tokenism where I'll take this survey. And I mean, really, really listen to the contentions and complaints that we have. Um, incidentally, the person I was talking to confided that actually other, other users have the same frustrations I do. So he or she knew what I... I think they knew where I was coming from. But I, I closed by saying, look, I know you're just doing your job and my this is not complaints about you personally. It's more the the system. The it, It's like a monolith, you know, it's like a David and Goliath situation. I'm just a guy with almost 2,000 subscribers. YouTube is a multi-billion dollar company, you know, uh, with enormous power, with enormous influence, 
it probably vies with Facebook in terms of influence. Um, so it's very powerful. And I just think there's a bit of a David and Goliath situation. I mean, honestly, I fear that my channel could be just erased tomorrow. Like, even this video. Could I be censored just for making this? I don't know. But at the same time, I don't want to live in this sort of fear of, oh, I better not say that. So I'll take the risk. Um, okay, I'm going to wrap this up. But I don't want this to be too cynical. Um I still enjoy YouTube. There's a lot of good content out there. Uh, you know, there's entertaining stuff. There's things. It's often useful for uploads that you wouldn't see elsewhere. Um, I like boxing, so sometimes people upload fights in high quality. I wouldn't see that elsewhere. Um, there's entertaining videos. There's music videos. There's a lot of stuff online that, that's entertaining. You know, it's and we need that in life. We need we need escapism. So, yeah, I'm grateful for the, all of that, and I'm grateful for being given a voice and a platform, but I just think that um, creators are not helped to grow, really, with the shackling process that YouTube has. Um, and, you know, if you're going to ask people to participate in a survey, don't say it's a short survey, and it's not a short survey, or, you know, you don't give people a guideline on, on how long it is. So that's, you know, this is for my subscribers. It's also feedback to anyone at YouTube watching this. Please, just adopt common sense. Because I think there's a common sense deficit. You know, your guidelines are contradictory. Um, you push creators into a corner. You don't make it easy. Um, who knows, in the future, I might make another one of these videos and be very positive. Because obviously there's people out there who are successful, they've done something right, they're getting millions of views, and frankly, a lot of them are a lot more controversial than me, so they're doing something. If I can find that magic cure, I would be doing it, but um, for now it isn't a major priority. I'd like this channel to grow, but I've got other things in life outside YouTube, and just finally, thank you to all my subscribers. But, you know, I'm not giving up. I will definitely time permitted i will focus more on this and uh, i'll keep doing what i'm doing um i think it's important there's nothing as far as i'm concerned that it's too taboo to talk about where it is more sensitive issues i try to be tactful i try to be um diplomatic in how i discuss those issues to the best of my ability um and there's other times i believe in just being candid if i'm angry about something i'm not going to hold back I'm not going to rant and rave, but I am going to talk about that issue. But for now, thanks for watching. And let me know your thoughts, by the way, especially if you're a creator. Have you experienced the same frustrations as me? You know, maybe you've tried to monetize and you've had the same issues that I have. I'd like to particularly hear from uh, loads of people. Okay, thanks a lot. And wherever you are, have a great day or a great evening ahead.